Hi, and welcome back to the Positive Prepper. How's everybody doing? I want to do this really quick video. I'm working on a video that is going to be a little bit more extensive than what I would normally do. Uh, but it's going to be based on the book of Revelations and everything that's happening today. Uh, obviously, there is a lot of stuff going on in the world. <laughs> we all know that, right? Oh my goodness. Uh, but I want to put it in the biblical perspective because that's what I like to do as far as, you know, why I do these videos and helping you be prepared for what may be next. Um, so I'm going to cover things like the banks, uh, which are very much pushing towards that cashless society. Uh, our railroads and power stations being sabotaged, uh, not by the people that I would have originally thought might have been behind it. Um, the stuff going on with Trump right now, again, look over here so that you don't see what we're doing over there, right? Uh, all of the media right now is focused on Trump tomorrow. That is something to stay aware of and keep an eye on but we should never take our eye off the other hand um, just like with magicians right uh, they want us to be focused on this well why you know what's what's the other hand doing uh, so we want to make sure that we're staying focused on that uh, I do know from some intel that I think within three months, we're going to have boots, U.S. boots on the ground. And this is, I think I had said that in a video a while ago that I thought that that was going to happen sooner rather than later. And I was wrong. Uh, but it is something that the United States military is planning for at some point. Um, I don't know when. I have no idea to what extent. I have no idea who, anything like that. Uh, I just know that it is a very real possibility. And then, and all of this has to do with that outbreak of World War III, which I think is, we're at the doorstep. Uh, you know, a lot of us preppers, We've been sounding, kind of sounding the alarm, I guess, if you will, for a while about how quickly things are escalating. Um, and thankfully, and I, I will say that honestly, thankfully, it hasn't happened as uh, quickly as we thought it would. <laughs> I'm glad I was wrong about that. <coughs> But looking at all of this stuff that's going on right now, I want to put it in the perspective of the book of Revelations um, and that final end times, uh, the final end times events, if you will, the things that will bring and usher in that, uh, that have been put into overdrive just in the last couple of weeks. Uh, so I want to do that. But in the meantime, and I, like I said, this is going to be a really short video. I am going to try to put out, like I said, an extra uh, detailed video in the next few days. Um, and maybe I can get some shorter ones out in the meantime, too. There's something pressing on me that I just I have to... I have to get this out sooner rather than later. Um, we all know what's happening with Trump tomorrow. And even if you are not politically affected by anything, I am sincerely hoping that it doesn't affect you personally. Um, whether it be the protesting, I, I don't foresee any rioting, uh, but I do see things escalating as far as 
the civil discord that we have and other things that might be going on in the background that I don't even, none of us maybe even really realize what's going on until it's already happening. So tomorrow, okay, so it's, it's Monday night, it's about 9.15 at night. Tomorrow he is supposed to be arraigned and um, brought before the court. Uh, fingerprinted, of course, they said he's not going to be handcuffed because, you know, that would sell a million t-shirts. Um, but I want you to pay attention. Pay attention to Tuesday. Okay? Watch what's going on in the world and be prepared for it. Hopefully nothing comes of it, but again, we prepare for the worst, right? Pray for the best. As preppers, there's a couple of things that I want you to put in the back of your mind that I want you to really think about doing when you have the time to do it. Some of you are new to prepping. Some of you are new to kind of all the nuances that go with being a prepper and being prepared, having those resources at the tips of your fingers so that whatever happens, you 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 can like set up for it and be ready for it, right? So there's a couple things that you could be doing right now. Strap on that bug out bag if you have one and go for a walk. See how far you can go. Do you have to add? Can you add to your bug out bag or do you have to take things out? If you are planning on bugging out to a location, how fast can you get your stuff out of where you are and get it to your bug out location? Uh, I suggest numbering. So if you're doing like boxes, totes, that type of thing with your prepping supplies to get to your bug out location. Number them. So number one is absolutely has to go with you. Number two is our, well, they really should go with me, but if I can't, hopefully we can come back and get them later. And number three is, mm, you know, I guess if we had to live without this, we could live without it. Uh, and figure out what you personally can get out. If you are planning on staying in where you are, if you're a single person or you're disabled, which I I keep that in the very forefront of my mind. Um, I would still label my supplies that way. So if I had to go for two weeks, th these boxes with number one are the things that I'm going to need the most. Keep those out and readily available, you know, if you have the storage space. Number two... Well, I'm, I may end up needing these, but I think I can probably do without them. And then number three is go in the back of your stash or the back of your closet, if you will. These are the things I'd like to have because they make life more convenient, but I could definitely live without them. Okay. Or I could figure out how to live without them. Sorry, that's our new security system. Um, so, I want you to just start doing these couple of things. I don't know, you know, I live in Wisconsin, as you guys all well know, and we've been inundated with snow. Uh, I can't get to some of the resources that we would use, typically use in the spring, summer, and fall. I just can't get to them. I have snow banks that are eight feet high. Right, and I have three feet of snow in my lawn. <laughs> um, but we understand that if we, if, if SHTF happened tomorrow, we have the resources, the manpower, um, to deal with that and set things up in a different way, and we would, we would be okay. 
um, are you in that position? Okay. Um, I, I'm trying to think of how, how far I should go right now. You guys know me. My brain just goes all over the place. Watch for videos in the next, in this week, this week. Um, I'm going to try to get at least one really detailed one about the book of Revelation. So that's been weighing very heavily on me and I want to make sure that that one gets out. Um, but then I'm also probably going to do one or two smaller videos on just some of these current event things that impact you as preppers. Do not get sucked in to what's happening right here at the forefront of all the news that you get. Be aware of it and pay attention to it, but don't get sucked into it. Watch what's happening over here. Okay? Because that's where you're going to find the stuff, and that's where you're going to find the SHTF coming from. So as always, stay safe, stay aware, and God bless.